We're gonna do a hundred dollar cash app to a random comment mm -hmm. in this video. And we're gonna do it quickly Good. after the video, like one week after the video. Welcome back to the sneaker dungeon. <laughs> It's like Christmas every time we come in here because I feel like I see a different pair of shoes that wasn't here previously. Nice and organized right now. You guys may think Johnson's sneaker room is just very nice and organized 24 seven. Well, it gets a little messy and you just finished cleaning it up. Yeah, we spent some time on it. That's right, just you in time for this it. video. There you go. What are we gonna talk about in this video? Not entirely sure, but a few things. Uh, some early pairs. We're gonna talk about the current state of the sneaker market. Some shoes you guys have not seen yet, possibly. Some shoes that we've bought a lot of that we're gonna give you our opinion on, whether that's good or bad. Yeah, what unreleased stuff that's unreleased in the US, but sure. maybe right. released somewhere else. I think some people say, well, that's already released. Well, sure. it's released in Asia or it's released in Europe, but it hasn't released here yet. Got it. So before that gets started, any personal pickups that you're really happy about for wifey, for Miss Lindsay, or yourself? We talked about one of them. Yeah, that's a nice shirt, by the way. So, oh, you like that? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I mean, I didn't get the call for the look, 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 see, look, look, book, look, book. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I learned what a lookbook was just you last did. week. Yeah. That's okay. And you got the lookbook because you checked out on the website, didn't you? I, I did, and that was pretty, was actually, cool? that was pretty cool. Oh, all right. I have to admit, all the <laughs> pictures and stuff, I mean, yeah. I was impressed. I thought it was really well done. Shout out to Drew O'Brien for that one. Yeah, heck yeah. And then, but, you know, you didn't call me for the modeling because I probably am not model material, but I'm going to wear the shirt. Well, we appreciate that. Heck yeah. And if you're looking to wear that shirt and you're watching it right now, these actually just dropped. In fact, right now, as you're watching this video, they dropped on Friday, 10 a.m. PST. So oh, hopefully wow. there's still some stock left for you guys to grab. Let's go grab it because the quick fish are dropping fire. Later. Later. All right. Are they? Yes. I, you like these? I do. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can get away with wearing them, but I do think. I, I do think those are pretty All right, cool. we'll twist my arm real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah I just yeah. gotta show them. I haven't been able to okay. show them. The cherry blossom yet. So fire. I don't even know what week this is, two? No, it is two. Oh. Yeah, next week for you guys. Cherry blossom though, super fire. Yeah, cool. personal pickups, I, you know, Bryson talked me into this. I saw. Such yes. a good one. I saw that on the, the video. I just saw a picture. New York got sold On something. Twitter, underneath is white. Oh, oh, it is white. Okay. I knew it was something. Yes. So you can tear that off? Yes. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then I don't have the third one, but I've got... I had to get the Union Dunks once they got to what I thought was the low point. And so I got these two, and then I've got the other... They call it the... I mean, it's Lakers, the purple and the have white. Have they seen the CPFMs? Yeah. <laughs> yes, they have. They They've do. seen those enough. We talked about in a video for yes. how many likes it would take for him to wear. Seen those. Oh. Yeah, Miss Lindsay's got... Guavas. Tra well... Travis's. I mean, look, she might be... <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, I know. That's such a good shoe. I think it's unbelievable. And this one, so this is interesting. This shoe right here hasn't been released in the US. They released a green pair, which has a glossy like shimmer, which I'm not too excited about. And that shoe's about 290, 300 market. And that's where this shoe sits. So I don't know why people are buying this up and selling it, maybe in your store or whatever, but you know, definitely an opportunity to flip if you got a buyer. I think it's a pretty great shoe for you know, 350 bucks. Once they drop, I think they're gonna go higher. They gotta hit higher than the green ones. Sure. Oh yeah. I, I would think that's a, a lot better wearable shoe than the green one. I agree. I can actually see some of my personals <laughs> because there's not all the boxes in front of them, which is encouraging. But other than that, I don't, I don't really have any new ones that I've picked up or, or gotten, honestly. Uh, oh. Two quick things. Number one, if you're still looking for the full set, lot one through 50, Johnson has them. Shoot him a message. And I'm gonna sell them. Yeah, and he's he's ready. He's going to sell them one by one or a full set, yep. but all ten and a half. They're all ten and a half except lot three, which happens to be an eleven because there doesn't seem to be a ten and a half that is in existence. There you go. And Johnson will also be a coach swap meet. Yes. Wow. Tomorrow. So we're, we're dropping this Friday, so it'll be tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. In and out. I Very love, nice. I, I love San Diego. So I'm going to be out there for the day and we'll see what's going on. Maybe right. I'll buy something. <laughs> you guys will have to help me ship it back. <laughs> um, okay. So some of the things you've been buying recently. Well, things that are selling for me. I got in a point in January, February, where I bought a bunch of stuff, was buying more than I was selling, and so it started to stack up stuff. And not a great time in the sneaker market to be buying more than you're selling because prices have continued to stabilize or go go down, which I think is just a supply and a demand thing. But lately I've been buying to sell because they're selling the two-tone grace. They are absolutely selling like crazy. So uh, men sizing. Um, it really doesn't matter what sizing, eight and a half to 13 have all been selling. I've just been buying and selling and going to town on those. I pretty much stopped buying once they're over that 200 mark, then I've pretty much stopped buying 
if they come back into the, you know, US releases them, they go below that, I'll be buying again. But once they get over that 200 mark, then, you know, I'd rather invest in other things. As you made the call on those, they were up around the 225, 230 mark. Yeah. So I think they'll continue to creep up, release in the US and they'll drop back down and then buy again. This has been our best selling shoe. I was just called him yesterday. This is our best selling shoe of the month of April. I think the white laces is just a perfect touch to the shoe. And obviously the two different tones of gray, hence two tone gray. It just, it makes for an incredible shoe. And for those of you that put a dunk on and wear it, I've been wearing this dunk actually a lot. And because the it's a dark gray mm -hmm. here, which typically gets dirty here and right here, you, you can't see it. And so I think it's a really wearable shoe in a sense that you can, Yeah. I don't know if that makes sense to... But if it does get dirty... Yeah, if it does get dirty, you just use Rejuvenator. Absolutely. Uh, you know, click the bit.ly link. Yep. Bryson will right. have it below, okay? Yep. So That's you can great. click on that. Very good. That's and great. you can buy. And also, if you don't have these and you're wondering, what, where can I buy a pair? CommonHypeAC.com, okay? <laughs> yeah, how often can they 24 shop? 24-7, wow. okay? 24-7. And we'll get it shipped out the next day. Yeah. yeah. And if not, I'll go to the store and personally box it up myself. Let yep. me know. Okay. <laughs> this is a shoe that we called uh, in Good Chefs, uh, which by the way, we'll leave a link to the waiting list for Good Chefs. There's just so many uh, inquiries about it. But, uh, I like how you've done the wait list. Thanks. Yeah. It's, it's getting crazy to people where like, like what place am I? It's like, well, you're like, you're 200. Uh, yeah. yeah that so way. it's like, it stinks. You're like, well, I have to wait for 200 people. Well, yeah. So the earlier you get on the wait list, the better. Because as that wait list grows and we start letting in less and less people, it's going to take you that much longer to get in the group but if you increase the group then right you exactly. can open it up and exactly those are really good things and also i've uh, been hitting these in grade school down here got grade school pairs. they look good been in selling school. these like crazy also grade school been hitting these for like you know 160 bucks selling them for 250 right. um, not a bad quick going back Put 50 bucks on a 150, 170 dollar investment. Can't it's complain. Not hard, going it's a to ROI. Complain. Yeah, it's, right. it's a big ROI. This shoe is dropping on Sneakers app. Finally. And yeah, so this shoe right now is 200 bucks. I think if you've got buyers, this is a good shoe to buy for 200 bucks. Sell it for 275. The nature one that sits in a box like this without the paper uh, doesn't do as well as normal dunk lows. Right. So be careful about how you buy them and what you buy up in because they just don't seem to perform right. as well as a regular dunk low. You know, golden rods. I got golden. <laughs> what do you think that shoe tops out at? Like you think it like 250? Like does this shoe hit 300 because it's a next nature? I think it's going to take a while. I don't think you should be investing, you know, 200 plus dollars for them and hoping that they go up to 300. I think they may just plot to a 250 275 but if you have a consignment shop or a store i think you should have them because i think they'll sell for you know 299 bucks right. at a store there is so many dunks releasing if a dunk usually got to 400 then i'd say it's probably 325 350 now right i don't think the sneaker market has changed a lot yes people don't have the you know stimulus government money those things happening in their paychecks or you know, year end. I think overall, I think there's so much dunk product out there in different colorways. If you're looking at something that's $400 a Michigan State, right. I think that when you get into like a court purple, I think the expectation should just be lower. Yeah, but I do think this shoe is gonna be the dunk that breaks it and hits 300. Yeah, it's wearable. The white laces to your point, it, it knocks, it's not the white base like we talked about, but it's a light enough base with the gray that I think it's definitely a shoe. I actually don't put on a lot of Dunk Lows. I wear Dunk SBs, but I actually have been wearing those and have been enjoying them. They, they go with most of the stuff, the simple stuff that I yeah, wear. Yeah. The same stuff that I wear <laughs> over and over. Yes. And I'm totally fine with it. You love gray. It's your color. Black and gray yeah. is all great. <laughs> Golden Rods, um, I have been selling them, not for what I'd like. And so I've been kind of getting my money out of them. You know, you win some, you lose some, I bought, probably 70% of them at a, at a good price. I bought the other 30 at a little bit higher. So I've been getting my money back on those and just same thing, just cleaning out my inventory, turning some of that inventory into cash so that I can invest in stuff like the two tones. I've been selling the Bull Chicago Dunk. 75th? Yeah, I sell, you know, I sell, you know, four or five a week. It's weird because- So they don't move as fast as- It's weird because this think. shoe and like the golden rods, like what we call this is it's when the sneaker market kind of just plateaued. Mm -hmm. Plateaued. And then kind of went down a little bit. And peak Christmas time, I mean, these are 300. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, so I th and I think that's probably a fair thing. If y'all bought these at 225 and you're wondering what should we do, if you got a buyer at 300, sell them obviously, or you can hold them and you know sell them on an app, and those th that should be a $300 shoe by Christmas. Right. But you're gonna have to hold it for that long. Exactly. That's it. Archeo Pinks I've been selling through. Same kind of concept. You guys made that call a while ago. But same thing. It's just plateaued right at that two hundred dollars, right. and it stayed right at there at that number. And I just think if you look through some trends of dunks, that's just what we're sitting at. Um, Harvest Moons, same thing. But it's crazy because like the Harvest Moons went up to like two sixty. Like this is shoes like everybody's like invest in invest in. It's gonna hit three fifty. But this shoe's a three hundred fifty dollars shoe. I mean, all day it is. I think a year ago, like we were talking about, but we're we're not a year ago, we're today. I just think that that's a, you know, $250, $300 shoe by Christmas. So I think the idea of buying a bunch of dunk lows and holding on to them, especially women sizes, there's a ton of women sizing. I mean, how many women are gonna go buy a, you know, five, six different dunks? I get it, I just, dis I, don't, I don't disagree, but my opinion is, is like summer, back to school. That that's will be at those the most. Well, it, you know, it's just like, are we going to get back to the numbers that we were seeing a year ago? I don't, depending on what happens. I think you're just fifty dollars off of that. So if you think three fifty, I'd say it's three hundred. That that's all. We're saying the same thing. I think so too. But it's like RKO's. Yeah, right. Like that's easily a three hundred dollars a year ago. Now does it hit two fifty over summer? It's you, you know. I do like the Venice Violets, which are those stack of four right there. I agree. Oh, too. the they, Venice. Yeah. Yeah. But I these, these are sitting at the same one. I know. It just doesn't make any sense. So th I think the point is, is that everybody's looking and they're sitting there saying, okay, I've got a thousand dollars. What do I do with it? And I think when we look at, you got a thousand dollars, what's the, you got to take the safest bet and you're going to want to go a real neutral shoe like this or the two tone grays. And you're probably going to want to pick a men sizing dunk, 10 and a half, 11, 12 or 13 mm -hmm. as some of the best investments And a neutral gray would be a great investment. Something like this in a women's, 7w to a 9w because right. it's very neutral not all of them are gonna hit 300 right some of them are gonna be at 250 and stay there i mean look at black and white dunks we laughed on one of the cozy swap meets that we we found the bottom at 240 and we're like ha, 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 right. we bought some right? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> laugh at us on the comments all you want to buy them at 200 210 i'm buying them at that number because i'm selling them for 350 300 right. i might only be making 10 bucks on the ones that i bought Sure. three or four months ago right but if my replacement cost is 210 and I'm getting 300 in my mind I'm making 90 in the in the future so it's just a way to do the averages and stuff you know in some sizes that I'm stacked up on I'm not doing that but on ten and a half mm -hmm. and and some of the smaller sizes I'm low on and then grade schools are just are just money I'm buying them at like 200 right. selling them for 300 right. and those have been pretty stable we call um, this we call this recession proof we call these the unbreakables. No matter so how many. stock so many. So many. And they're still at 230, right. 240. So if they stop restocking them over the next two or three months, look on StockX, they're the number one selling shoe right. by right. far. Yeah. Those things are going to be right up to 300, 320. The question is, is do they stop restocking them? Like, wait, because eventually they are. At no. some point, they are going to stop. I don't think this is going to be an Air Force One. They're trying to prove you wrong. I, I understand, but it's just like, let's just say dunks die. Let's just say in a year. <laughs> We'd be pretty screwed. <laughs> well, no. What? It would be the next thing. Don't call that. It, it would Don't be the talk that into existence. Hey, it is. It would be the next thing. It would be the next thing. Jordan 4 is coming up next. So the Jordan 3 is going to go I think they continue like, to restock them. We can talk pure slides. We can talk about that later. But sure. And I think that's worth talking about. Yeah. Because you talk, you called a pure slide and an onyx slide investment. A week after that call, I sold all my pure and onyx slides. I'm right. out of them. Right. I think when it comes to this, it's just a matter of how much they restock. They can restock this. But if they don't restock it enough to demand, then this shoe will always be a $300 shoe. This is the best selling shoe for both of us. So you can't not buy it when it's low because you're always selling it. Right. Bry, I say we switch up because this is your favorite shoe. We found this shoe like like five, six weeks ago. Before you guys even knew they existed, all right? And we were buying it for like 150, 160. We got them in hand and we're like, oh man, that's more light blue than, than yeah. what we thought. Well, it's funny because, so if you guys missed it, Johnson, he'll text me sometimes. He'll just be like, send me X amount, let's say 250. And I'll just send it to him because he'll just go buy a shoe that he think I like and I usually I like it. So anyway, I came to his house the other day to get that shoe and these were upstairs and I went and looked at them like, oh, those are those are really good in hand and that ended up being the shoe. And they yeah. are kind of like, 
a little up and down right now? No, they're just, they're, it's the same thing. They're just kind of sitting right underneath that 200, depending on sizes, yeah. but they're sitting right in that between 170 and 200. They dropped in in Asia and Europe and they're set to drop well, the USC. fifth, the fifth will be on a Thursday, I believe. Yeah. So this will be the day after Sneakers app drops them. Yeah. They'll be on their way up. And here's the thing: when you see watch this video, don't be buying this, okay? Because when they drop on Sneakers app and someone doesn't get them, they run to the apps and go to buy them, and the price goes up right. 10 or 15 percent. Wait about a week until the Sneakers app ships it, and they arrive in hand to the people that yeah. won because then they'll be selling and the supply will be more more sellers than buyers and the price will come down. Yeah. Probably about a week after this. That's video. great resale advice in general. Don't really Yeah, don't don't, don't buy don't. right after the drop. Sometimes you can buy before, you just got to be really careful yeah. about how much product is out there, yeah. whether it dropped out in Europe or Asia. This will be a $300 shoe. So when you start talking about these other shoes, Here Brandon, they haven't dropped a premium dunk. Right. in a long long time I, love how I don't have to reference things i can just go because you have everything yeah and then the curry which is probably uh, that's the outlier but because it, it's yeah, really, curry's really a little good out there but yeah i mean look at the color block here you got the veneers ceramics plums same vibes this is just a little lighter tones but you're getting the same feel you're getting the three tone on the colorway light blue that kind of fossil rose as they call it and then that kind of white gray and you're just getting that three that three color pack your swoosh is matching your laces everything's money right there the thing to me is is like pre-release like i feel like that shoe is gonna uh, as soon as it drops that's gonna be 250 and i don't know if it's leaving 250 because we look at georgetown dunks yeah. right yeah. that were like 150 and they just spiked that's that's my and you uh, you're right but i just think that's the outlier and that just as soon as people see that and they get it in other words we've been buying these at 180 you think that's you think that's a gift I think it's a gift because I think after the drop and when they get in, I think at least big size is at 220 and then they just. Yeah. Depends how many they drop on sneakers app. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it, it all depends on, it, you know, supply is it. But I think the yeah. long term play is to buy it. it. It's a it's a 300 plus dollar shoe. Well, it just depends too. Like you don't Nike already did like these darker kind of fall winter tones with these you we don't know what else they're gonna do with this they could do a light a lighter yeah, palette with right. these that's and, a and lot then, lighter than these you know the first run of these like people could be like dang the fossil rose actually ended up being one of the better ones out of that other separate pack and smaller sizes too this goes down into a six right and so i've already had one of my friends come in and buy a, a lady size and she loves it i'm already personally invested into these i don't invest into a lot of things because everything's in the store already. I grabbed some money, threw it in some two-tone grays, threw them, threw them away in the closet. And then I also did the same thing with Fossil Roses. I just think it's a really good shoe. And I, I also picked up like a six, a seven, um, some of those smaller sizes, cause it looks really good. Uh, there's just some shoes that look good in that, that women's, that small women's size. Yeah. And a six and a seven in these, they look pretty good. And I think those sizes are gonna be money because when girls see these, actually like once they drop on sneakers in the US, I think they're gonna pay the, the yeah. big bucks for them, especially if men's sizes are going for even 250, like B said. So let's see what happens, because Johnson's saying don't buy until after. I'm saying possibly well, I, buy. It, but when this thing drops, yeah, by the time we're this talking about the out. video. Like right now, we're buying, right? Right. But I'll I'll stop buying on Thursday when it drops on the Stinkers app, because I think the prices will spike Got up. Got it. And then and then it'll have to come back down. I'm not buying that shoe for less. I need to buy that shoe for less than 200 to really be making money over the next three to four months with it. That's about what I was in. I'm, I'm about in them for 200, Yeah, on and, average, yeah. Yeah, and, you, and you're you gonna hold them for a while and do that. Yeah, the other things be is <laughs> I got- if they hit 300 right after the drop, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, that wouldn't be a bad one. I've got the Team Reds, which is the Bordeaux. I don't understand why they call them Team Red, but that's basically a, a Bordeaux and men's. That you selling for you? Uh, no, and I don't. We I, just had this. I'm, I'm confused, but I just came here the other night and we were talking about how well Bordeaux did for the women's. Obviously, the, the market was at the a different place. Larger sizes too. Yeah, but the, that 12W Bordeaux, you couldn't keep that in stock. It was a $400 shoe. But we'll see because this and the Court Purple drops on Sneakers app in a in a week and a half. And right. I think once that kind of exposure comes, I think it's going to start selling. That's yeah. just how things are. You know, I'm out of my Pure and Onyx slides. They they are restocking on May 16th with the green glows. No idea why Kanye wants oh. to drop the green glow green glows. Oh, they gotta see how. No, no. Those are stone sages. They aren't. I oh. already shipped them. Oh no! Those, yeah. those new foam runners. Those new foam runners. The sulfurs are really bad. They're like sulfur ugly. You keep showing those. You just want to sell those so bad, don't you? I don't. I'll, I don't care. I'll two grand. I'll go Take to the some home. With these. Yeah. If anyone needs a size twelve, 
DS Jedi, hit me up. I bought these a while ago and I've just kind of had them sitting here, so I don't have to look at them. So I just said, Johnson, you look at them. Oh, here, I got you right now. Hey, if anyone needs B grade topes, Johnson. Yeah, hit, it up. Don't hit me up because I won't be checking the Instagram. Yeah, but hit me up if you guys need them for a store or for whatever you guys want. Money sizes. Yeah, Johnson went to a Nike outlet wherever he was. Where were you? Seattle. Oh, yeah, Seattle. And uh, he found a bunch of B grade topes. Ten all and brand a half, new. 11, 11, half, and 12. And I don't see anything wrong with any I of them. I don't see anything wrong with them. Because I had a personal. And I sold them for like 240 used, so. Oh, dude, what? When did those come? They they dropped overseas in grade school. No, no, when did they get here? I've had them. Oh, dude, I was just here. I know, but you, but it was hard to find in, in the... In the chaos? In the chaos. It's yeah, these are... Fire. That's a great shoe. This is one of me and Johnson's favorite shoes of oh all time goodness, right here. yes. The Fear. I don't That's think they're ever going to give us this again, but... This, is this keeps getting delayed and delayed and delayed. Yeah. I bet you there's quality issues or something with it because even these grade school ones I have have the quality on some of this is just really, that's really so bad. That's so good. That's a good one. Military black that's coming out in three weeks. Yeah, saddle up, y'all. Pure and Onyx slides. I would say um, just be patient. Start buying near the end of May. Pure slides have restocked every two and a half months for the last year and a half. And they still sell. And you go, and they still sell. They go down to about 150 buy and then right back up to two 200 yeah. 210 and then back down i do not buy enough slides i just buy enough to sell over the next over the two months right there's no, they're not a hold they're yeah you know you got to be in them and out of them in and out of them every two and a half months on the pure slides and they're going to continue to sell i mean look at their i think that's what kais meant when he said a long-term quick flip yes you quick flip it over a long period of time. Yeah, that's right. I know what you meant, Kais. All right. Long term quick flip. I yeah. like that. I've been selling my lightnings. Here, B, you look hella tired, dude. Every time we move, you prop your arm against. I just hit chest. Oh, please. Yeah. It's actually funny, Johnson. We had a guy come up to us. I, we told you this story, right? We had a, I forgot yes. We had a sneaker event, and he was just like, I'm wearing my, it's just I DS'd it. <laughs> yeah. So I Johnson's it. pairs would go up. Yeah, this would be would go one up. less pair on I the market. I appreciate that guy. I hope I can find that guy. <laughs> Hopefully, you and can. And let him know. He's probably All watching. Right. I, hey, I appreciate you. <laughs> I think I got an extra 10 bucks. It's funny because we talked about this shoe and we talked about how well this shoe hit and that one guy bought 200 pairs, made like 20 grand, or whatever. But now this shoe is incredibly difficult to sell. In our store, consignment stores, it's just like, it's weird because it's such a good shoe. That shoe has been difficult to sell since the day I bought it. Yeah, I mean, I, I brought I mean, my pairs back from consignment. It's such a good shoe. And you see people wearing it too. Yeah, you do. I know, I, I just- They're just not buying them from I'm us. not quite sure I <laughs> yeah. understand. Yeah, it's weird. But that's one of those ones. So I've just been slowly getting rid of those on the apps and stuff and taking it in the shorts a little bit. So I know a light smoke gray when I see one. <laughs> yes, sir. I know if I skew now. I yeah. still think this shoe hits 350. When that shoe hits 230 or 240, I, it's just my my body just buys it. Yeah, it's... it's you it's just buy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean... It's, it's, like like a, it's, like a, it's like a black and white dunk at 2.30. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, now I don't even know what to think. <laughs> I'm like, holy cow. 200? What? It's almost so good that you sit there and you're like, this is so interesting. Like you, you start second guessing Okay, yourself. here's a sneak peek for the YouTubers. I do really I do appreciate the YouTubers because they've made, this is, this is it. Men's Jordan 1. Now, Here's the beauty, that's a smoke gray. If you go and look on StockX to old smoke grays, this is a $350 men's shoe. This is labeled on StockX as an anthracite. And if you look at it, it's more on the their site, it looks more dark gray. It's not, it's light gray. This thing you can buy for 180 and, and sell for 290 all day long. This is a great, great shoe. I love the name they chose. Anything anthracite. Yeah. The anthracite fives are different. This is a sleeper. May not be a sleeper after this video, but that's all right. Jordan 1 Low Bread Toast. I got into heavy on those. Bought heavy into them in January and February and bought grade schools and bought men's. Mm -hmm. The men's have been selling for me. Yeah. And I'm going to get my money out, making a few bucks, but not like what I like to. So that investment has not been a good one for me. Mm -hmm. But what I've decided to do now is keep my sell numbers that I want to sell them at higher. And I'm just not going to sell them. So I'm going to hold kind of what I have from a men's sizing for a, for a while. And what I've done with the grade school pairs is I've just gathered them up and stacked them up and put them up and away. So they're not even in the room right now because I don't want to look at them. I don't want to deal with them. I'm going to pull yeah. them out at Christmas time. Yeah. So I've just taken those. And by no means am I ever gonna, I'm not gonna take a $25 loss on each pair. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna stack them away, put them away, and deal with them at Christmas time and see what I got then. Yeah. If you did buy some 
and you're sitting on them and wondering what to do, I think it's gonna take you a, till Christmas time to get your money out. If I only had a few, I'd probably be selling them and, and reinvesting the money into things that I know I can sell and move. Sure. Because that shoe, that shoe has volume. That shoe sells. Correct. It's one of the top 10 selling shoes for a long, long time. There's just so many. There's so many of them. So it's gonna take a while, um, but it will eventually get there. I've done the same thing with the Jordan golf shoes. I've stacked them up and I've put them away. I'm convinced that they're they're you know a longer term play than what I thought. They did drop a lot of them multiple times, and so I've just stacked them up and put them away, and I'll deal with them at a later time. I guess I can afford to do that, but it's still a decision that I've made and yeah. out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. The other thing that we were talking about is just what's happening in the sneaker business. Yeah. I don't think it's that complicated at what's going on. I think there's less money for people to spend on a luxury item like a 300, 400, 500 dollar shoe. But there's definitely a large community that buys these shoes. It's becoming more widespread. I think overall demand is still there. I think what's happened is is that there's a lot of resellers in the in the in the game. Yeah. So if we compare it to a few years ago, there's just a lot more people that have 15 to 20 pairs. Yeah. And when you start thinking about a thousand people that have 15 to 20 pairs. That's just a lot of pairs sitting somewhere like in a room like this, you know, either collecting dust or waiting for someone to buy it or the price to go up. And so I think that's why you see the market fluctuate where a shoe can go up like a Chicago Bulls dunk, mm -hmm. go up and then it comes back down. It goes up and there's a lot of people that think, oh, now's the time I can sell it and stuff on the app. And then the supply from the sellers come and it just drops the shoe down. Yeah. I'd say just be patient. This is gonna cause a lot of resellers that don't have a lot of capital or don't know what they're doing to just, you know, and aren't really interested in the love of sneakers and stuff. I mean, I don't do this because of the money I make. That's a that's a fun, you know, thing to decide whether something we're doing is successful or not. I, I just love the sneakers. That's a, I mean, I know you are the same way. But I just say just be patient and don't buy more than what you can sell. Yeah. Right? I mean, we... Yeah, we know that. We jokingly talked about yes. that. Buy what you're selling. And you're hearing a lot of stores that you guys go and visit doing that stuff. That's good, just good business. I don't think anything's wrong going on with the sneaker business or it's crashing or doing the things i think youtubers put that in the thumbnail or what's yeah. the yeah yeah, thumbnail. yeah as a um you know click so people click on it clickbait. a little bit of clickbait i think there is an explanation i think the market's not responding like it did a year ago yeah we just gotta go back a year ago there was a lot of government money that was out there and i sure. think that impacts you know shoot interest rates are low home prices are higher yeah. now we got interest rates higher that's gonna cause home pricing to stabilize or come down a little bit. But the sneaker business is, is very strong and will sustain, yeah. trust me. That's gonna wrap up today's video. Appreciate you guys tuning in. I know these are longer type videos, but you guys really love these. And you know how I know that? Because the average view duration is up on these videos. They just love seeing you, Johnson. It's a real privilege to be in person next to Johnson in his home, but it's another privilege to be viewing at home, seeing all this and getting his advice for free. Yeah, hey, look, subscribe and like. L yeah, subscribe to the channel, mm -hmm. like, it helps the YouTube algorithm. algorithm. The algorithms, it helps the algorithms, okay? And the algorithms are good. Yeah. The algorithms allows Bryson to go and punch out three videos a week, which I know I enjoy, and I know you guys enjoy. That's right. So subscribe, like the video, and comment down below. Because here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a $100 cash app to a random comment mm -hmm. in this video. And we're gonna do it quickly Good. after the video, like one week after the video. And I'll pick like, remember that last time so I yeah, picked yeah, like picked three or four one. comments? Yeah, yeah, perfect. I'll pick one comment, or do you wanna do four $25? No, one, one, one. One, 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 one hundred. hundred. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. comment down below. Picked by Johnson himself. Yeah. I'll pick the comment. Yeah. Comment your favorite part of the video. Yeah, favorite part of the video. Cool. Good, bad, or indifferent based on something you agree or disagree with. Let's, I mean, let's get a little bit of disagreement. That's all good. All right. That's good love. Okay. He reads all the comments. Trust me. He reads all of them. Love yeah. looking at comments after you're in a video. You love it. <laughs> you just soak it up, don't you? Who, like who, who doesn't? <laughs> I, I, I love these people you that are like, oh, I don't, I don't read that stuff. You got athletes or whatever. The fact of the matter is, <laughs> come on. I mean, yeah, you're intrigued. Yeah, it feels really good when someone says some nice things but someone says a couple of like rips or whatever it kind of like boy it affects you a little bit more than you'd like <laughs> i mean let's be honest hey we appreciate you guys i appreciate you guys these guys do a phenomenal job you guys did awesome on the lookbook thing thanks i do i do have to admit i i had no idea what a lookbook was 
I had first time I've ever heard of that. And now you know. Now you know. Well, I was impressed with all the, the pictures and everything you did and then how you used them on the website. I know I'm aging myself right now. I don't care. <laughs> but then how you guys put it all together and you put a cool video together. I thought it was one of the good best videos that you did. Nice. And I think you guys are going to sell the crap out of that. I sure merch. hope so. No, was, I, I think I think you are. And I think you did the right thing. You didn't buy a bunch of it having this anticipation or expectation that everybody's going to buy. Mm -hmm. I think you guys have a real humble, you know, idea that hey, you know, maybe the people will like it, maybe they'll buy it. So you 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 bought a limited amount. So it is limited. So if you want it, go go get it and buy it because it is limited. And I think that's great too. When things sell out, when you buy it, you feel like you got something that's not of mass. I'm proud of it. A little bit like gosh i'm wearing some i got one of whatever and right. not everybody has it right we've got a few of the shirts over here that the kids got and stuff and they <laughs> look pretty good yeah, i'm gonna good. have to admit hey we've been talking too much tell them tell them outro the video is what it's called it's basically tell them goodbye hey guys thanks for watching if you got to the end of the video you've invested about 30 minutes of your life <laughs> and we appreciate that all right so good night we're gonna watch the second half of the suns game go suns and have a good evening see ya. <laughs>